have you considered the process in terms of how you represent your outcomes? Now, it's one thing to have an outcome that's very important. So, you know, you want to know what you want. Uh, you want to know how you would know if you got what you wanted. You want, in other words, what's the evidence for achieving an outcome? And it's useful to have some scope on what you want. That is, knowing what you want, whatever it might be, what you want that for. Because if you know the intention for some outcome, then if the outcome that you're working with is not workable in some way or in, in, encounters problems in the environment, then you can always find an alternative outcome to meet the intention. Now, and these are some of the questions that people will, will explore in your linguistic programming and specifically in, in the new code of NLP. Now, there's something else which is interesting about how we think about what we want, and that is how do we use, or how, you know, how do you use your attention? How you, do you attend to the outcome you have in mind? So, for example, we've asked you to think of something that you want, to imagine having what you want, to note the intention you have for that, and then be aware of how much focus you have on the representation in your mind. Do you have your peripheral vision open? Do you have a lot of focus? Do you have some combination of peripheral vision and focus? For example, some people when they have an outcome it's all focus and no periphery. So all they're thinking about, the blinkers go on, they're going to have that outcome, they're going to take massive action to get what they want. And there are consequences to thinking in that way. Uh, often people are unaware of other information in the environment that either supports or detracts from the achievement of, of whatever the desire happens to be. Then there's the flip side, the opposite end of the spectrum where you meet people who've got so much peripheral vision and very little focus. So they're kind of cruising around you know, and easily distracted, generally disorganized. We'll say there's a middle way where we have focus on what we want and our peripheral vision is open at the same time. So what I'd like you to do is think about something you want, make sure you're centered in your physiology in terms of uh, in your posture and breathing in an even rhythm, represent what you want in mind, imagine having it, and allow your peripheral vision to open at the same time so you can focus on what you want with your peripheral vision open. Now you'll find that that will change your state in a useful way. And when people represent their outcomes in that way, they're more likely to be aware of, of uh, possibilities, uh, resources in the environment that can support them in achieving that particular desire. Now for more information about outcomes and how you can actually represent what you want in a way that's compelling, useful and fits for you, uh, please have a look at our website, inspirative.com.au.